Hey friends, Tux here. This is a video which I couldn't find on YouTube, so I'm making this video um, to try and help anyone who maybe has a similar problem. Um, I bought this CO7 and these headlight covers looked fantastic actually um, for the very beginning for about a year or two or so and they started hazing over and now they've kind of gotten to the point where they're shrinking a little bit plus the haze is so thick that you really can't get light through it so actually it's almost like driving in the dark like it lights up around the edges but light doesn't really pass through that middle part anymore so the time has come to remove it I've been procrastinating this because I was worried about all the glue and stickiness below it so my goal here is to try and remove it and make it clear again so anyway um, here's what I did I already started the other one the left one but we're gonna do this one together I'm gonna grab my heat my heat gun here the standard heat gun this is actually pretty old but this will do the job so we're gonna have power here let it warm up a little bit now you don't want to melt they are plastic covers so you don't want to melt them but you just want to try and remove the actual um, you know plastic sheet and hopefully get some glue with it too All right, so I'm gonna start peeling here. You can see there's a real stickiness behind it. Just give it a little more heat as we go. Try not to get any sticky on the car. And this will peel right up once it's hot. So peeling it off really isn't a problem. I thought maybe it would be, but with the heat gun, it's really not too bad. The problem is this. I'm gonna put the gun down here while I carefully try and move this last little part because I don't want to get this sticky on the car. This last part is where you can probably get some glue on the car if you're not careful. So really try and wrap it around try and keep all the glue together and just try not to get in your paint if you get a little on the paint it's not the end of the world so that's what you're left with this is big piece of plastic and this is already hard again now so you can see no light is shining through that but that is a mess so we need to make that look nice and clear again here's how we're gonna do it Now this is the part that really influenced me, scared me, whatever you want to say, the most. I really didn't want to do this whole project because trying to get out this glue, because it seemed like it's going to be such a mission impossible, scrubbing or whatever. Now the trick is loosening the glue before you actually try and remove it. So what I recommend, it was recommended at the Corvette Forms, is just uh, rubbing alcohol, okay? This will help break up the chemical in the glue and make it a lot easier to remove. So what I'd recommend doing is taking some on a cloth, like nice soft cloth. I've been using this one for the other one, the other headlight, and just take this. Give it a generous amount. This is kind of hard to do one-handed. There we go. Be careful not to get this on the paint of your car. It won't necessarily hurt it, but I don't think it'd do it any good. If you know for sure, let me know about that. But really just try and keep this carefully on the head like glue itself, okay? This can be purchased at a dollar store for like 98 cents. I bought this at a supermarket for like a buck 60 or something. So it's cheap, okay? And then what you do, you just take your cloth here and you just kind of lay it down. And we're just gonna let this sit for a little bit and let's soak in. I probably could use more of this too, actually. And what, what I recommend doing is doing both at the same time. While this one is soaking, you can work on scrubbing the other one. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the other side. And this was just as messy as the one we just showed you. But I've been working on this one for probably about half an hour, maybe an hour now, probably less off and on. Okay, and this rag has been on here for a while. Let me just go ahead and remove this a little bit. And you can see this is actually pretty nice looking. It still has a little bit of glue, especially around the edges. That seems like the hardest part to get. It's kind of like around the outer edge, but you can see this actually looks really nice. So this is kind of the final outcome and hopefully both will be perfectly clean by the time we get done.
for a while I kind of thought scrubbing it over and over again, making circles or whatever would help the most, but I really think just letting the towel sit on it is the most helpful because once the chemical starts loosening that glue, it really comes off easy. So it's better to not, you know, use a lot of rubbing power on the actual plastic, because again, this is plastic and it can and will um, streak and get messed up from scrubbing it too much. So you want to be really gentle. Sometimes I'll actually take water. I take my little soap gun here and give it a little brush off even. Just give it a little soap and water. Just to help kind of get the acid off it a little bit and then kind of give you a fresh start. And I think the soap and water actually helps kind of uh, make the scrubbing a little bit easier too, both on you and on the car. Okay, we've had this on here for about five minutes roughly, and I want to say it wasn't really soaked good enough, so we probably won't get that much glue off on the first attempt, but I just wanted to show you from the get-go kind of like what the first wipe looks like. And this whole process does take time. It takes going over it, going over it again, putting more alcohol on, waiting five minutes, going over it again. So don't think this is an instant project, but it is something which is achievable, and I wanted to make sure you knew how, because honestly, on YouTube, I couldn't find anything really good about how to do this. And it really, it wasn't expensive. It wasn't like some kind of, you know, $30 cleaner. It was like $2 rubbing alcohol, you know, and some towels. So anyway, here's the first rub. Um, this will probably be sticky at first. So we'll kind of peel this up a little bit, and you can see it was kind of sticking. And now we're just gonna give it a little rub here, and I don't think we got that much on the first go, but let's see here. Oh, I don't know, it's starting to come off a little bit. I don't know if you can see this on camera that well, like especially, like this is where the other one did too, kind of like right up in this general area. You can see the glue's already coming off. So that's a really good sign. We'll keep rubbing. And I recommend, you know, give it like, you know, five minutes of sitting, you know, maybe a minute or two of rubbing at the most. You don't want to scratch it up. So again, if it's not coming off easily, I'd recommend letting some more alcohol sit on it and give it a little more time and then try again, you know. And periodically wash it with water too, just to make sure it doesn't get too chemically, <laughs> if that makes sense. But you can see that our first, our first rub here has been pretty successful. Check it out, like this top part, that's nice and clear. So a really good start. And now we just have like about 60 more percent to go and this will be done. And the edges again are really the toughest part. This grime right around the edge is really hard and a little thicker. So that may take a little bit more work, but it's all really achievable. So it is something you can do. I'd recommend doing this on maybe a day off or if you have two days off, break it up a little bit. For me, I don't have a garage, so I do have to do it out in the sun, which is kind of unfortunate, but you know, it's kind of nice to be outside too. So it's okay. I can live with it, you know? Just try and do it away from like dust and city streets. Park it in your yard or driveway or whatever. But yeah, it's looking good. I like that. So far, so far so good. You can see the improvement and that's from rub number one. Okay, so now we're back on the driver's side light and we're just gonna give this one final check for the video. Again, I'm not gonna go through each uh, level of rubbing. You get the idea, but let me show you. We'll go ahead and pull this off a little bit. Give it a little rub. And you can see nice and shiny. And there still is some glue down here, but this is getting thinner through the bottom here. You can see there's still some thick areas, um, but like right here is all broken up. And if we give that just a little bit of rub, I bet we can get the whole thing off. Just give it a little rubby rubby. A little rubby rubby. Try circles. If you have an opinion about circles or pushing straight, let me know. I guess uh, circles are probably better, a lot of people say, although it can be a little bit difficult with these angles of this light. So do what you think is appropriate. It's your car after all. And we'll keep rubbing. And there you go. And so that gives you kind of an idea. Um, this is bright and shiny. Light will definitely go through this now. And um, it's great. So I uh, will let you know as a follow-up video down the road if there's any additional maintenance needed. But so far it looks pretty darn good. And it looks a heck of a lot better than with those uh, covers on that were so hazy a light could not pass through them. That was downright dangerous. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe this video helped you in some way. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.